post is wrong. What do you mean? Well, I'm wearing white pants with a red stripe. He's gonna get new shorts. The score is pretty goddamn good. I never liked this song, but I really like these, like, sad versions of it. Yeah, it don't matter. Cause there was nobody before. Don't say that. How about I wait here and you fight, huh? <laughs> I gotta go now, but uh, don't you leave town, huh? Good luck. Don't leave town. I trained you to be a fighter and not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. What, what do you <laughs> get? World. We love you, Frankie! No fun! Hey, thanks for showing up. And his record, 44 victories. He's got he inspires hope, just like... Apollo Creed said, he's an underdog. Obviously so, he's got the hat on the whole shot. Look at here in this he looks like a big flag. <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking to me? He's talking to you. Yeah, Apollo Creed's a, a good sport, though. There's no doubt about that. They must be friends. He sure doesn't keep up with the whole boxing scene, does he? <laughs> I've never seen a fighter that concerned about his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the bell for round one, the most publicized fight. Creed, the champion, sipping, flying those jabs up there, left-handed jabs, right to the head, bang. <laughs> He's just trying to make his man make the first one. See, make a miss like that. And he's just, the champ is just taunting him now. First time, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, stop. Green dancing around. Ooh! Green is down. What a surprise this is. Rocky coming back out, and he's like a bull in a china closet. He really wants it. Hollow left to the head. Now he's taunting him. The champ is taunting Rocky to come out and some more. Another left. Now more. Oh, oh, yeah, Rocky's coming back now. Left and right. Rocky's got him on the roll. The whole time. He pulls into the box. There's no way he's up. He's going back. So long. Your nose is broke. How's it look? That's an improvement. I want you to quit shucking and jiving. Go for the ribs. Don't let that bastard breathe. He doesn't know it's a damn show. He thinks it's a damn fight. Like a punching bag. What's keeping him up? What's keeping him up? <laughs> and he says he wants more. <laughs> oh, boy. Try to fight him back. Oh, he tagged the champion of begging. The champion right on the kitchen. And the referee's got them. They're ready to keep going. <laughs> I think his girlfriend might be. <laughs> she kind of looks familiar, actually. I think she's in The Godfather. Apollo can't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
you're bleeding inside, champ. Oh, I'm gonna stop the fight. Hey, you stop it. Nothing, man. Stop this fight, I'll kill you. Oh, the champion really tagged him. And Apollo clearly protecting his right side, his ribs. <laughs> You went the 15 rounds. How do you feel? All right, I'm sorry. What are you thinking about when that buzzer sounds for that left? What do you think about when the 15th round when you're coming out? Adrian! <laughs> Adrian! So he lost? Wow. Yeah, I teared up a little bit. It's just so inspiring. <laughs> Got me a little worked up. Now, the big question. Which one do I like better, Rocky or Raging Bull? Rocky's definitely more inspiring. I actually like Raging Bull better still. Uh, I really like <laughs> the part in Raging Bull when he just lets him hit him over and over again. And there's something about that moment that just really stuck with me. Even if it was just being extremely prideful. Maybe that was the point of it. Maybe I know I'm talking about Raging Bull. But um, maybe that was the point of, uh, you know. It, uh, same with this movie, actually. It's, it doesn't matter if you win. It's about, you know, doing your best. Really inspiring. Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, it was way better movie than I expected. I think the boxing was better in Raging Bull. Uh, just more entertaining to watch. This one had more, like, gruesome moments, kind of. Definitely got me reacting. But I still like Raging Bull more. But it was still an amazing movie. I give it a 9.7. It's a 9.7 out of 10. Sorry for getting a little teary there. It's just... it's. Something about these old movies really gets me a little worked up extra because it's just there's so much better writing. Just it's it's like it almost makes me sad to see such good movies no longer made, you know. That's part of where it comes from. And there's just so much more heart to these movies that it touches human emotions a lot more and it gets me worked up a little bit more because it's so much more honest than a lot of modern movies. And that's why. i got to be honest with you. That's why. Part of the reason, at least. Uh, also good characters and everything else. It's going to be another long edit. But Jesus, was that a good movie? Yes. So I, I will keep watching the rest of them. There was no Eye of the Tiger in that, in that movie. So I guess that was probably... I'm assuming it's the next one. Or the third one or something. I don't know. It's one of them. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Really good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy.